Good evening. Welcome to Compline, to Night Prayer, for Tuesday the 20th of October. The Lord Almighty, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins and heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. Amen. And now... The psalm for today, Psalm 143. Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like one long dead. My spirit faints within me, my heart within me is desolate. Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. I remember time past, I muse upon all your deeds, I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you, my soul gra gasps for you like a thirsty land. O Lord, make haste to answer me, my spirit fails within me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way that I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to ye. Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to ye for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases ye, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness, slay my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my soul. For truly, I am your servant. Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. Jesus, our companion, when we are driven to despair, Help us through the friends and strangers we encounter on our path to know you as refuge, as our way, our truth, our life. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. And a scripture reading from Matthew chapter 11. Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and ye will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light.
Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in peace. And the song of Simeon, who held the infant Jesus in his arms and recognised the Messiah and knew that this was enough. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. This night we pray for all in our community who watch and wait and weep this night. We lift them to you and pray for your sustaining love. At this time when so many are separated from those they love by the needs and laws associated with the coronavirus. We pray for those who minister in our health service, for chaplains and health professionals alike, that your spirit might enliven their work and grant them endurance for the same. We pray for the church here in our communities, that we might be people of generosity, people who care for our neighbour, people who hold the welfare of our community as close to our hearts as Christ holds the welfare of the church. In Jesus' name, we make these prayers. And the collect for today. O oh God, for as much without you we are not able to please you, mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit may in all things direct and rule our hearts through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And the historic collect for night prayer. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing always be upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the prayer that our Lord Jesus himself gave to his disciples when they asked, how should we pray? Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus. For the day is now past and the night is at hand. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Sir Complain is concluded.